During the Western Han Dynasty in the year 157 BC, Liu Qi, the fourth son of Emperor Han Wendi, ascended the throne under the title of Han Jingdi. Three years later, in 154 BC, Liu Bing, King of Wu, joined the fiefdoms of Chu and Zhou in armed rebellion against their emperor, leading a force of 100,000 men against the Western Han Dynasty capital in Chang'an. Liu Bi's rebellion was nominally sparked by the emperor's abolition of the system of political feuds. In fact, he was looking to avenge the death of his son, who had been killed that year by the emperor. The emperor, while still crown prince, was playing a fiercely contested board game match with Liu Bi's son when all this happened. Things were not looking good for Liu Qi, and losing his temper, he jumped over the stone board and killed Liu Bi's son. From then on, a mortal hatred for his sovereign settled in Liu Bi's heart. How could Liu Qi take a simple game so seriously? The game they were playing was known as Liu Bo. Sadly, this popular game fell out of fashion over 1,000 years ago without leaving any trace of its rules. How was it played? In 1952, a bronze mirror was unearthed from a tomb in the Wu Jialing Mountains of Hunan Province. It revealed the secrets of this ancient and engrossing game. On the mirror's back lies a round button surrounded by ornamental beasts' heads and a double line pattern. Surrounding it is a rare symmetrical T, L, and V shape pattern. After careful research, experts have determined that this strange design is indeed a Leo Bo board. The ancient game of Liu Bo was composed of a board, dice, and 12 game pieces. The game began with the throw of the dice, which was known as the Liu Ju. According to the results of the player's throw, he would proceed to move his piece along the sinuous paths of the board. In ancient China, the skies were represented by the circle, while a square stood for the earth. The latter was divided into east, south, west, and north, as well as center, and it's not surprising to find the Leo board, board being square in shape, would follow this ancient belief system and branch out in the four directions from the board center. Leo Bo, however, was much more than a game during the Warring States period, Qin and Han dynasties. It was used as a means of divination for all important matters, private and public, such as marriages, funerals, births, and deaths. Therefore, when Liu Bi, King of Wu's son, and the Crown Prince Liu Qi sat down for a game of Liu Bo, it was not for pleasure, but for a sign for who was worthy of inheriting the Han Dynasty throne. It is then hardly surprising to find the future Emperor Han Jing Di getting so absorbed by the game and its dark omens to the point of flying into a fury when he found himself losing. The back of this bronze mirror presents us with a classical Liu Bo board. Carved on it, we find patterns depicting deities, mythical beasts and birds, all reflecting the desire to use the game as a way to communicate with the world of spirits. Its surface has been gilt and displays a delicate, consummate craftsmanship. Because the inscription, Peace in China, is found upon one of the mirror's sides, it has been named the Gilt Peace in China Bronze Mirror. This magnificent piece is conserved at the National Museum of China, where it remains an extremely valuable cultural artifact.